So hello you guys, I'm preparing this video just to kind of solve the problem to see if you can help me is based on Auth2 on Azure and preparing Auth2 services to authenticate APIs in Azure. So what's this part one and be aware of the part two. I'm going to publish the part two soon. I'm already recording. I'm just preparing the video. So thank you so much. Here we go. So I've been having this issue with uh, Auth2 and API Manager. So I'm going to reply all this stuff. I'm going to follow uh, these uh, steps that we have in here in the documentation and maybe improve some stuff that they have in there. First, we're going to do a small testing uh, on the with one of the Auth apps. I'm going to delete the app that I have in here uh, just for show you how I built everything. And you're going to let me know in the comments if it's something is wrong, if I'm doing something right, because I keep having this uh, issue. So I'm going to go back and let's go Azure Directory. And I'm going to explain the steps while I'm doing this. Oh, I'm going to try to explain the steps while I'm doing here. First of all, let's try to delete this app that I have in here. How I delete it? Just click here. Understand. And let's start from the scratch. So the first step that we need to do based on the, on the uh, steps that we have on, on Microsoft documentations is create an app registration. So we're going to create a new app registration. So it's going to call this. Uh, let's put it like first auth to app. We're going to use single tenant. And for sake of testing, we're going to do HTTPS localhost because we're going to test this app just that. Uh, the second step that we're going to do, we have an idea, yeah, we, we can have a URI, but we're not going to do that right now. So next, uh, we have the redirect URLs that we need and everything. And we are going to use, um, yeah, let's use the access token ID, click save. Let's create a client secrets because we're going to need a client secret. So let's go client first. Sorry, my bad English. Let's put it a year. Click add and save this value here. We said value. Let's save it here. Where are we going? Client secret and paste it in there. Cool. Next step that we need, we need other uh, things to do, like on the authentic on the API permissions. We're gonna change this Microsoft Graph because uh, this thing is gonna let us like authenticate. It's gonna do an authentications, and if we're gonna use this service in other uh in other apis well it's not gonna let us so that's the english or the human way to say it so we're gonna remove all permissions let's delete this guy refresh why not we're gonna create a new grab microsoft graph with that permissions and we're gonna find permissions for our users and we're gonna give you an add default value of the user read all. So once we see you have that, we need to grant admin consent to the default directory to be able to use this function. So click OK. And let me know in the comment if I'm doing something wrong. This is the first testing that I'm doing. Expose API roles is gonna be good. Uh, so we have everything that we need for now. The endpoints are here. We have the client ID, the client secrets. So let's test this. 
how we're gonna test it. So we're gonna come back here. And already been testing this. Uh, actually, and if I put no authorization, it's gonna return an error, invalid token authentication. So let's create a token. So we're going to auth to, uh, we're using Postman for this. I'm sorry, I, I didn't know. I think anybody knows. If you need Postman, just download it, install it. Uh, it works on Windows or, or Mac, it's the same. I have both these systems, but for recording purposes, I'm using the Mac, so. Let's create a token. Uh, we don't have anything here. You can put that token name, whatever you want. We're gonna create a bear token using our authentication call. The callback is gonna be localhost and we need these values, authorization URL, and we're gonna find these values just over here. Authorization URL, let's put this just a little bit here, just to play around with the that stuff. We need the authorization token Let's paste it in there. We need the client ID. And the client ID, we're gonna grab the client ID for, from here. And the client secret. The scope is gonna be HTTPS like slash Okay, it's gonna be graph. Graph that Microsoft. Dot com. Backslash that default. And send a notification. So let's clear the cookies. See, because maybe I have something in there, saving and I want to do it from scratch. Let's generate a new token. Gonna ask for our credentials. Click next. Password. Password. Sing in. We're gonna add save everything. It's gonna collect the information. Authentication complete. Proceed. Here we got the token. We can save the token or because we can use this token whatever we want. So use token. With that, that means that the app is working, it's returning our token and everything that we need. So right now we're gonna hit send to see if that works. And resource not found user, of course. Uh, I don't have anything with this. Uh, we have that basic app. That means the token is working and bringing everything. Next. Okay, the next steps that we're, trying, we're going to try to do is we're gonna try to use this app that we create that we are sure we have a token and we're gonna create a services, a auth service in here, in the API manager. So in the API management, let me show you how, how you're gonna get to the API management. I have it in here, but if you go to the portal.azure.com, it's gonna show this. So you go here, click here in all services, uh, or you just type here in the search words, uh, API. And you're gonna find API management service menu here. Just click in your in your service, if you don't have it, you need to create it. We can, I can do a video later about that, but let's focus on the API. So we're gonna create an auth to or open API connect service. So how do we do it? We just, <coughs> we choose O2 in this case that we're gonna use. We're gonna use a display name. So let's create an OAuth2 test service. As the name we're gonna put it, you can put any name that you want. Because 
Uh, Azure is going to handle all the OS2 services method and registration. I know we're not, really not going to do anything. On the client registration, we're going to use a uh, placeholder like localhost. We're going to keep authorization code. That's the method that we're going to use to get the, uh, the token. Then we need the authorization endpoint URL. We're going to, we're going to get that. We're going to go here to this tab where we have the app. We're going to go to the endpoints. Click on the first one on the V2 versions. You don't need to go back to the V1 version. You can use the V2. It's OK. And you're going to select the second endpoint, which is going to give you the token for the second path. Uh, uh, so the second option is going to be here, pasting in there. If you want to use both methods, you can click on both and that's it. And then we're going to need a default scope. The default scope, you can go here. You already have this. So we're just going to take it from the postman because we already have them in there. And it's the file. The client ID, we can go back here and grab the client ID, copy, and paste it. And we're going to have the secret that I have it pasted here where you don't see it. Client secret, we're going to paste it in there. We're going to copy the authorization code grant flow. And this is one of the errors that I'm getting in. It's the redirection. So once we touch the app, create the token, he's going to go back and redirect to this server. Once we've done that, we just click create. And the third server is there. So we have two servers right now. I don't know why, because I already deleted one. So uh let's delete this one let's see if they oh it's not letting letting me delete that one because i'm using on the echo api let's stop using it nothing and if we go back i'm sorry i didn't delete delete that service then this one test server auth to it's not working. Yeah, there you go. That's simple as that. So we have our server here with all the, the things that we require. We have copied this guy here, the redirect URL. You can use the deprecated portal, but it's not, it's not gonna work so well. So don't use it, use the new one. Once we have the service, we're gonna go here and there's a part on the API uh, that I saw in other API and other configuration videos about the oath, oath uh, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. There's a part of the configuration policies that doesn't show in any part of YouTube on this part of the configuration videos. So you need to create a policy if you want this work, whatever you want. There's a snippet and there's a documentation about it. And you can see the XML code here. So let's go back and see how it looks the code. So in the inbound, because it's gonna get in, you're gonna request, so it's gonna get in. You're gonna add this policy, which is the validate the JWT. It's gonna be the JWT validation, I'm sorry. So JWT means JSON Web Token. That's gonna that's the acronym of JWT. So the header name is gonna be authorization, and if and if the node doesn't validate right, it's gonna return bad. If it's gonna validate good, it's gonna go forward. In my case, it's not going forward. I don't know. Maybe maybe the error is here. I don't know. But let me know in the comments if you have a link or something that can fix that issue because I have the issue just in here and I'm going to show you right now. So we're going to save the policy. We have the policy in all operations right now in Echo API. This is an API that I already created, but 
no, don't worry about it. Let's go to settings. And in the settings API, let's go down. Let's click. We don't require subscription for this. Maybe you're going to require if you, it's going to depend uh, on your development team or your develop what you're doing by yourself, whatever. So in the other, you're going to select the server. It's the server we already create here in the Oath 2 configurations. And you're going to click Save. What is going to happen if you test that right, just right here and go one of these resources and click Send? It's going to say 101 on Authorize error because there's no there's no valid target or anything configurated in there, which is okay. But if we gonna if we go and paste this, and we go to the Postman, and we change this, or better, let's duplicate the tab. Do not lose uh, the other stuff. We paste this in here. We go here and generate new access token. It's going to request again permission and everything. Proceed. Use the token. The token is in there. Let's click send it. And boom. Now that I access. And this is the simple way to do it. Uh, I'm going to do the step that the Microsoft documentation is doing it. And I'm going to do it right away. Uh, and actually, I'm going to post it in another video in the second part. So this is the first part. Pay attention to the next part. Okay.